Hey friends, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. In this video today, we are going to be working with you, showing you your first crit. So in a simple way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your first PDF with Python. Remember on the previous video, I happened to show you guys how to download the library responsible on position to create a Power Python uh, a PDF. We're using one of us a Py, Py FPDF or one of us what you guys can call FPDF. Okay, so now this time around, we let's get started. With a moving waste of your time, I'm going to save my files inside here on this PDF file. So you can create up your file anywhere. So let me just get started by going to share and say new file. And underneath there, I'm just going to customize this. Of course, I don't need it anymore. There, I need to, I need to see to see when it is running. And inside here, that's where I'm going to be putting up my file. Don't forget this is the name of the file. So I'll click on save. And then I just need to go inside here. So I'm going to desktop where my file is, and that file is in the Python. So double click there, we'll have PDF inside there, and inside there we're going to be saving it. I'm going to just save my PDF as example. You get, or I can just call it uh, OSP PDF underscore PDF. So that's the PDF we're going to be creating up together for now. And if I click the pop, so at the moment, remember it's a Python file shell, and I think you can see it's a Python type. So let's see how we can create this a PDF inside there. Now to do that in a simple way, remember we already have a file, this file already installed in our PC and don't forget this one supports Python 2.7 and Python 3.7, Python 3.7 and Python 3.4 uh, and above. So let's just get started. Remember the first thing is to import. The import gives us a chance to, to bring the library, to include the library in the uh, project. So import for us FPDF and that's it. So, so from FPDF import for us the PDF itself which is FPDF, which we are going to be dealing up with. And for instance, if I just go to print, remember I'm using Python 3.7, if I say print for me F, FPDF, this, this gives us a chance to know where the directory where that stuff is, and if you get no error, then that implies you're good to go. Like you can see, it gives me a class of that given file. It implies I'm good to go, and I have everything settled with me. Now, I'm not going to waste a lot of time because I don't want to print that. I want to just go straight to the point and try to see what we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do, we need to initialize the variable. Like for instance, I'm going to say PDF equals to the new name that I'm going to be calling. Remember, we defined up a PDF here, and we called it for function calling for a library for issuing it, called it PDF. So I'm going to just say PDF like that, and we're going to create it in the form of a class. Like just you can see, class here PDF no PDF no PDF PDF. And then here inside, we're going to need to do something called add. We need to add that PDF that we have we have, we have defined or that we call it for. So in PDF dot add underscore page, we need to add a page that we get a chance of being positioned to create up a given PDF for a given file. You get? So that one gives us a chance to create up a PDF and actually call for it. Now the next thing we need to set the PDF. So I'll simply say PDF dot one on our set, the font. So we need to know the font also that maybe you're going to be using for this given PDF. So you need to set if you want to set, you can actually set the font. Like for me, I'm used to Homer. Ta Homer. You get you can use the homer you can use area whatever thing you want to give then you can also set the size the size of the pdf for me i'm going to be using 12 for now in this video i'll be explaining to you guys more on this stuff next along all you guys who can actually need to know more you can actually comment down on my video so that i can actually paint uh tend to pay, uh, uh, answer all those of your questions so also need the next thing you need to do is to set the cell like how many cells per cell so i'm going to be using 200 you guys can use 100 you can use whatever i can also use 10 to be Cell 10 to 100 or set to that, and I can also give my text that I want you to be printed up on on my given application. Like maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I will simply say, maybe please uh, subscribe to maybe to OSP Pro, you no, know? subscribe to OSP Pro, and then underneath that, I also need to print up something like, uh, like I need to add something, maybe uh, the line per line. So you get so I need also give line. I want just one line. I want everything one line because that's just one line text or text. And also I need to align it to be zero. Zero means I mean to center for now. If you want left you give capital L. Don't forget that. If you want right give capital C L R if you want center you give capital C. That one will give you a chance to push that element to the center. You get so what next do we have now to do? We need not to do something. We need the output. How is it going to be saved? Remember, our file is going to be inside even on our uh, PDF here. So I'm just going to call it as maybe example, if it is okay with you. So I will simply say PDF dot output. Remember, we need to be out to put, okay, the output of a given file. So I'm going to simply call it 
maybe example but remember it has to give an extension so in this time around we shall give an extension to the pdf is it okay so you guys if i save this project right now try to run it well because there's no error so i click there to say run i think you can see it's telling me some few errors here undefined font oh tahoma undefined font tahoma so i need to cross check my font very well i think i don't have font tahoma so i may change this one to the area if it is okay for us for this video, I'm going to use Arial. My data home is not defined, I don't know why. Pop. Okay, so I'm just going to check again. I think I have some other error here. Uh, FPDF object has an attribute output. Oh, I said out, out, out. Sorry, sorry. This output, output. Sorry for that. Okay, sorry for that. So I just recognize my codes because I was explaining at the same time writing you know, on the screen. So, But I hope that's clear and I hope you guys have made it up on six minutes. So in, in simple time, if you try to cross check right now, if I go back inside here and I open up my file here, we should get a PDF. And when I try to run there, we should get, please subscribe to OSP Pro. Now remember, all oh, this project is coming from Python. And please guys, this is just my simple piece of lines of code that we happen to come up with to create up our simple PDF. There are many other things that you can actually create a PDF so that tomorrow next time you guys comes in around, you can actually come up with the systems and standalone application just like the one I happened to show you guys previously on this guy's section. The one I designed for them. And then this is it. This is what you can do. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to come up with something like this. It's very simple. Now this is it. I use a little bit of Python to come up with this kind of projects around here. So you guys, you can also use the same project to come up with something like this. This is a simple Python project that I did with the Flask. And near now, I'm going to explain to demonstrate for you guys how you can come up with your simple stuff. So please, you guys, if you find this interesting, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get the earliest chance to stand across the video and be not fight. So guys, thanks for watching. Love you.